2007 and we just launched into a slow blues and 7,000 people in LA went nuts. All is not lost. nice to see you. Now in today's guitar lesson I will show you the first 12 bars that John Mayer played during the intro of his song Out of Her Mind during the famous Revelatus concert. I will go through each and every lick with on-screen tap but before we do that let me show you what I used for the tone. Now as you see on the screen I'm using the Neural DSP Curry Wong M simulation and the settings are nothing too wild. I'm using the overdrive function here, the overdrive pedal the drive is very very low as you can see and the volume is rather high at like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock ish and I'm also using a little bit of reverb and some slapback delay. Now during the first 12 bars John is using the neck metal pickup on his uh, Black One Stratocaster and this will get you pretty pretty close. I believe he's also having the volume knob at 10 or 9 probably and yeah this will get you very close. Oh, and before I forget, if you watch until the end, I will show you this very amazing lick that he plays during the middle of his solo. It's just... Now let's check out how John starts his blues solo. Alright, now the whole song is in the key of D, so make sure you got the D major pentatonic and the D minor pentatonic under your hands because through the whole song John Mayer is mixing basically those both scales. Now this one is probably the easiest and for the one chord, remember we are in a blues, in 12 bar blues, and a very slow blues. He's starting here at the first position of the D pentatonic, D minor pentatonic. He plays the fifth interval, which is the A string 12th fret. Then goes to the major sixth, the ninth fret here of the D string. And then to the root note of the 12th fret of D string. And this is a favorite of him, of his. Uh, it's a double stop here with the 9th fret and then the 10th fret of a G and D string. And he slides this into the major third and the minor seventh interval, which is part of the one chord, the D7. goes to the 12th fret A string again, gives it some good vibrato and holds it for quite a while until sliding down with um, down the neck. The second leg is played our 4 chord, which is the G7-9. And this is probably the most difficult leg, which is why I'm going to play it slowly first. Now it starts out with a bend up, a 4 step bend up here at the 13th fret B string. Then 10th fret B string, 13th fret. Then a quick hammer on and pull off. And then with your middle finger you play the 12th fret G string. Then 10th fret B string. 
And then he does this with his middle finger. I pull off from a 12th fret G string to a 10th fret. And then the 12th fret D string, the D note here with his middle finger as well. Then middle finger 12th fret G string, 10th fret B string. And then a slight bend up here with 10th fret G string. He then walks down the scale. And then he really takes his time with this little hammer on. Normally he's like... But here, here he's waiting a while before he's hammering onto the blue note. Sounds very cool. Now he does this with, this with his middle finger, then plays the 13th fret of the E string, then 10th fret A string, 13th fret E string, and again 10th fret A string, and again 13th fret E string. Until he plays with his thumb the 10th fret of the E string. And then plays the octave, that's a Steve Ray Vaughan move. And he gives that some good vibrato. Before hammering onto the major third from a minor third of G string. And then playing the major sixth interval, he had the 9th fret D string. Now the whole leg slowly again. And again. Let me first say how wonderful it feels to know that it's 2007 and we just launched into a slow blues and 7,000 people in LA went nuts. All is not lost. Now John is talking of the 3rd and 4th bar, which is why he's missing those um, bars of the 1 chord. And when he starts to play again, after his long sentence, he's at the 4 chord, or the band is at the 4 chord again. And he then plays... It's a bend up again from a 13th fret B string, full step. Then 10th fret and 13th fret. Almost the same start as the lick before. But then a pre-bend from the 13th fret to 15th fret. And he comes back down. Then again the 13th fret. Then a bend up twice in a row. And the second time he gives that note some good vibrato. Before playing the 10th fret E string. And do, then doing a quick pull off from a 13th fret B string to a 10th fret. Here it is slowly again. For the next leg, which is played over 4 chord on bar 6, he's pre-bending the 12th fret G string to a blue note. And then bending up the 10th fret G string a little bit. It's not actually to a major third. It's right below that. He likes microtones, right? And then the whole leg is basically jumping from the 12th fret, between the 12th fret and the 10th fret, this bend up here. For your own league library, I wouldn't be too specific about the amount of times you do that. It doesn't actually matter that much. He then bends up the trailer for G string a half step to a blue note, comes back down and pulls off to a 10th fret, 
then plays the D note of a 12 at D string. He then quickly hammers onto the major third and walks down the scale with uh, two pull offs in a row from a 12 fret to 10 fret on the D string and then the A string. The next phrase starts out by barring the A and D string at the 10th fret and then hammering onto a 12th fret A string and then walking down the blue scale 11th fret and 10th then the pinky plays the 13th fret of the E string and the thumb plays the 10th fret of the E string then we play the octave which is a Stevie Ray Vaughan move Gifted some good vibrato and then play the 10th fret of D string. Now, this lick is a classic John Mayer lick. He has used this one a lot in the past and it starts out here at the 10th fret, the 10th fret E string and B string. It's barred, and then we are hemming on to the 12th fret of B string. And then kind of raking through the strings backwards. And hammering on the D string, we are landing here on the D string 10th fret, and then hammer on to the 12th fret. Now, after hammering on to the 12th fret, we are hammering on to the major third. Then walk down the scale. Then we are hammering onto the 12th fret from the 10th fret again. Now, this could be a hammer on and pull off as well, because the phrasing is a bit weird and we can't exactly hear what he's doing. Because he's then sliding from a 12th fret that, that you definitely can hear from a 12th fret of A string to the 10th fret he puts off and then slides to the 8th fret then hammers on I mean he's landing here at the minus uh, seventh interval at the 10th fret of D string He's raking here into the A string. Now the next leg is approaching the 5 chord, which is our um, A9, A7-9. Now he's playing the D note at the B string, twice on a row, gives that some good vibrato. And he bends up the major second here, just a half step. Comes back down to the root note. And then plays the 15th, 17th fret of B string, gives that some slight vibrato. Then 15th fret again, followed up by the 17th fret G string. Then a quick hammer on and pull up. Then back to a 15th fret B string. Then he bends up a 17th fret of G string, a full step. And goes to a 14th fret and gives that some slab around him. Then he bends up here the 17th fret again, gives that some vibrato while bend up, and then he picks that again. Then he's bending that up um, two full steps. 
do a 21 fret. Which is basically the note which is here at the 17 fret B string. Now slowly again. Next lick starts out with a series of double stops, 10th fret and 10th fret at E and B string, then 12th fret at G and B, and then 10th fret at B and G string. Then we go to a 12th fret at our D note at the D string, give that some good vibrato, and then do this little lick which he often does. We've seen this before. Just a slight bend up here, the minor third, and then a series of polos. Now, the next lick is lining up the one chord or a D7. Now, he's starting out at the 12th fret A string. Then it's basically the same as in the uh, first lick. And then we are sliding into the major third with our middle finger. He gives that some slide vibrato and then after a while slides down the neck. Then he plays the 12th fret at the D string, 10th fret of a G string and back to a 12th fret of a D string with some slide vibrato. And then he seems to pull off. Way to the 10th fret here of A string. Last leg of this intro sort is very cool. He bars the 10th fret of the E and B string. And he's picking kind of um, from the downwards. And then lands here at the 12th of G string, gets that some good vibrato. Then this quick leg, which we've seen before. Sliding from a 12th fret of A string to a 14th fret and place then the 12th fret of D string. Then a 14th fret A string again. Then the 12th fret D string again with some slide rebuttal. And then the 14th fret of A string and then we are sliding down. such a cool lick and it's actually easier than it sounds. Now it starts out by pulling off from a 13th fret B string to a 10th fret. Then a quick bend up to the blue note and the G string. Then a pull off. Then a pull off from the 12th fret D string to a 10th fret. Try out of A string. Then we walk down the scale, including here the blue note. Then we are sliding with our index ring from the 10th fret on the A string to the 8th fret. Then we play the 10th fret of the E string, and then the 8th fret. And slide down to the 5th fret. The next note in the minor pen. Now, after playing the fifth fret here, the E string, 
I believe he's missing a few notes and what he actually wanted to do was properly play around here with the blue note. And I believe uh, he wanted to do a quick, or he's almost doing it, a quick slide into the blue note and out of it. And then the first fret of bass. And then after that you can hear those slide, uh, slide, slides up the neck. Guys, if you learned something, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Also, tell me in the comments below what's your favorite guitar solo moment of that video. It's a very long performance, and there's a lot of more cool stuff in there. So, yeah, tell me down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon, that would really be appreciated. I always try to up the quality of these videos, and you could be a part of that. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.